Philadelphia Phillies. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Aaron Nola gets the ball in game three of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. So striding forward now, Austin Jackson. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Austin Jackson. And we kick things off tonight with a swing and a miss for a first pitch strike as we're underway. These Phillies as they enter play here tonight fellas four and two over their last six games including a win last time out. Yeah Matty this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game and this team is flying high right now. This is a fight at the bat rack. Ready with another 0 2. Three. Slider strike three called as the leadoff man is set down looking to open up the ball game. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Dero, what's your take as they look to end their losing streak? This team does it a little bit different, Matty. They're not going to drive the ball out of the ballpark. They are dead last in home runs. Usually a bad sign, but they can score in a variety of different ways. They got guys with great approaches. And they try and move and manufacture runs as well as they can. Be on the lookout for the little things today. Joe Panic comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Herrera. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And there are two gone now. Catcher number 28, Buster Posey. Here's Buster Posey now. His past line against Aaron Nola. He's got a three for five line. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Just missed with a breaking ball. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pound... Um, he goes with the slider that time, and it's driven to deep right field. Uh, maybe not, as this stays up in the air long enough to be hauled in out there. False alarm, and that ends the inning. Giants are down one, two, three. Now it'll be the Phillies' turn. No score. Johnny Cueto will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty V, a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. Guys, you take a look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. It was another loss for them last time out, and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. Yeah, Matty, this is the perfect guy to have on the mound. A veteran, not going to let the moment get too big for him, completely understands what's being asked of him. They've been losing lately. That can't be denied. But this is the perfect guy. Right guy, right spot. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. What's the key for a home victory tonight, Dero? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. No balls in one strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. 
well, we all know he's going to get strikeouts when he's on the mound. It's kind of his thing. The key for the offense is to actually make them work for him, so that three-pitch see you later isn't going to help very much. Standing in now, Scott Kingery. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. And McCutcheon will put this one away, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And this is still a nothing-nothing ball game. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Okay, okay, I see where this guy's going, right? He wants to pitch backwards, a little oh oh curveball. Don't be shocked if this hitter's sitting all over that same pitch right here. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Now another 0 2. And that one just missed outside. Now McCutcheon belts one, carrying well to left field. And that's off the left field foul pole, a home run. It's a solo shot off the bat of Andrew McCutcheon. Sixth home run on the season for him as the Giants are staked to a 1 0 lead. Well, this is something you don't see every day. It had the distance the second it left the bat. But it was anybody's guess whether it was going to be fair or foul. That is, until it clanked off the top of the foul pole. No question or controversy now. That's an impressive homer. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. And here's a slider. Strike three called. And that'll be the first out of the inning. Time to take a look at the Philly D. And this team, they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams. The shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Welcome to my world right here, batter. I've seen this 0-2 count way too many times. Hittable pitch in the middle of the zone, you take one. Slider in the dirt, you come unglued. Now you got to step out of the box, you have no idea what's going to happen. On to first, and there were two down. Batting seven, first baseman, Pablo Sandoval. Digging in the switch hitter, Pablo Sandoval. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First delivery to him on the way. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The wind up and the 0-1. Checked a swing there and pops this one up. And no one will get this one. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Altair is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Giants off to a good start. Bye bye baby. It's a solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's one nothing San Francisco. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. Here comes the first pitch. Ah, had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. 
Hey, he gets a pass right there for that ugly swing. He's been having a monster season. Take a step out of the box, regroup. He'll get right back in this A.B. A bouncer up the middle. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. There's a hard hit ground ball pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Set it back right where it came from. So now Carlos Santana. And he's one of the more dangerous hitters in baseball right now, carrying a 10 game hitting streak into this one. Set. Here it comes. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Hey, Dero, are you aware of this? After that knock right there, that's an 11 game hitting streak. You think he knows it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for almost a week, eight days. Now we're on 11. This guy's dinner tastes different. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Slow roller back to the mound. One there. Return throw is in time. And what do you know? They do get the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Into the box now, Jorge Alfaro as he grounds one briskly to short. On to Sandoval at first, and that'll end the inning. So they pick up no runs on two base hits, no errors, and one man left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. Giants out in front here, one to nothing. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Hunter Pence digs in to get things started. Hunter Pence. First pitch of the at bat. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. Just a bit jumpy that time, swung on and missed. And here's a curveball looked at, strike three called, and that's the first out of the inning. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. The pitcher number 47, Johnny Cueto. And now the Giants pitcher Johnny Cueto as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. Strike two on the curveball. 0 and 2. Hey I watched Tom Glavin master throwing change ups inside to right handed batters and getting them to pull it foul. If this guy can command that front hip curveball he's going to go to it all game. And a minimum effort at bat that time as the pitch is taken for a strike three called, and he'll go back to focusing on pitching instead. Two away now. 16, Austin Jackson. Here's Austin Jackson, the center fielder, 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. And the pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike to the Giants leadoff man. Yeah. 
mine toward the alley in left center. And Jackson's going to do a little gap work here as this one's down for extra bases. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is all the way over to third now with a two-out triple. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple. But he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. Here's Joe Panic as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Runner in scoring position with Sujan. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Herrera moving in. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. No damage done after the two out triple. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. So next to the plate for the Phils, Pedro Florimond as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Pedro Florimond. Here comes the first pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Played on the backhand. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And with that, there you get a look at what's happening in the race in the National League West. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Aaron Nola. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Push to the right side. Throw on to Sandoval. Two gone now. Now batting. Center fielder. Odubo Herrera. Riding in once again, Odubel Herrera, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Soft liner towards short. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Phillies down in order. They're down 1-0. Here's Buster Posey now. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The catcher number 28. Buster. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Missed with a slider. The 1 1 home. Is a breaking ball in off the plate. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Lifted into center field. Kingery backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Now batting. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone, but maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up no doubt he wants that pitch back and the pitcher he just dodged a bullet here's Andrew McCutcheon now as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second and going back to that previous at bat when he hit the two strike breaking ball for a home run Something tells me that this guy, when he gets behind an account, sits on something off speed or the breaking ball. Popped him up. Alfaro shading to his right. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, third baseman, Evan Longoria. So two away for the Giants here in the fourth and standing in here is the very dangerous third baseman Evan Longoria. First pitch coming here it is. Aye. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Longoria is a highly regarded defender especially as corner infielders go. Some guys at first or third are there because they can hit. 
but he takes a lot of pride in his defense and as a result it's definitely not uncommon for him to make an impact on the game with his glove. From the windup the one one pitch. Couldn't wait back a swing and a miss. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And no offer that time from Longoria. It's back to two and two now. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Longoria will take the turn and head for second now. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up and he was able to put Goodwood on. Her ball just misses apparently. 1 0. Hit in the air out toward left. Hoskins waits on it. And that retires the side. Danger averted following the two out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Ready for another chance. Aaron Altair looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. There to take it is Jackson, and there's your first out. Well, batter number four, second baseman, Scott Kingery. So striding forward now, Scott Kingery comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This is flared out towards second, and this is taken for the out. Now batting, left fielder, Reed Hawkins. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Reese Hoskins. One for one after a single this first time up. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Hoskins behind to count 0 and 2. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Here's the panda now, Pablo Sandoval. He'll begin things here against Aaron Nola. Pablo Sandoval. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. Franco is there now to make the play, and on one pitch, Sandoval is retired. Left fielder, Hunter Pence. So the leadoff man retired now for Hunter Pence. First pitch of the at bat. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. The difference between 0-1 and 1-0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day, attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Heading out towards shallow right. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. Now batting, pitcher, Johnny Cuento. Digging in to try it again. Johnny Cueto. He got called out on strikes his last time through. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. The curveball that catches the inside corner. Two quick outs in this inning so far. His pitch count 
is really down. I think one of the keys is he's been attacking the strike zone early on, making these guys swing the bat so far in this one. One run on three hits and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Giants down in order, but they're on top one to nothing. Digging in for his second at bat, Carlos Santana. He'll lead it off against Johnny Cueto. Carlos Santana. First pitch coming, here it is. Popped him up. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Every pitcher loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. So striding in, Michael Franco. The pitch. High in the air out to center field. Jackson is there, two gone. Up next for Philadelphia, Patrick Jorge Alfaro. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jorge Alfaro. And Dan, it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Here comes the first pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first, a three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. We'll get a look at Austin Jackson when we come back. It's the Giants one and the Phillies nothing. Digging in and looking for more, Austin Jackson. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Looks at a curveball over the inside corner. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. And he's out trying to stretch it into a double, so a costly mistake here leading off the inning. Second baseman, Joe Hannon. Coming to the plate now, Joe Pennant. He flew out in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hey. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. Down the first baseline. Santana's got it, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The captain of the Buster Ready once again, Buster Posey. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. How about right fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. And a whiff at a good slider that time. That's what makes pitching so difficult. You get the first two guys out of the inning, then you give up that two out bait. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So no runs here on two hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll see eight, nine, and one do up in the bottom of inning number six. San Francisco leads this one, one to nothing. 
digging in the switch hitter Pedro Florimon. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah only two hits so far Matt and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they could start making some adjustments. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Panic charging this one. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Now, and it doesn't look like the manager fully agrees with that out call at first. It appears he may opt to challenge it and have the play reviewed. Yeah, he may, Matt, but I think he'll see what his replay guys think first. Looking at it again, man, I can't tell for sure if he was out or not. Tough call. So here's the signal from the bench, and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Phillies have elected to. So here's one last look at that replay from another angle. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to change the call. And boy, I'll tell you what, I just don't see it there. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for them in this case. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. He came to play today. Not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute, help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. So the Phillies batting order turns over and set to go. Odubel Herrera, he was a ground out victim last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Hit out towards second. Panic with the die. The second for one. Safe. Now batting. Right fielder. Aaron. Okay. Stepping in. Aaron Altair. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Here comes the first pitch. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. As a hitter right here, you have to tell yourself, I can't get too big. Don't let the moment get away from me. A nice bullet in the gap gets the job done in this situation. Skied into straightaway right. McCutcheon is under it. And that's the third out. Billy strand one they still trail one nothing welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia Giants leading this one as we get set for the seventh but before it gets underway there you see our game summary through the first six innings of play in is the third baseman Evan Longoria and guys seventh inning already hey I'm not complaining but this one's been flying by yeah I'll agree with that Matt that's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all and they've trusted their defense to make the plays and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Here's a high pop-up. There to take it is Franco, and that's your first down. First baseman number 40, Pablo Sandoval. Here's the panda now, Pablo Sandoval. No hits to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0 and 1. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. The next 0 2. And it's fouled away. Longoria stands at first with one out. This is on the ground over the first. Florimon on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. 
Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. The Giants lead it one to nothing. Riding in once again, Scott Kingery. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. The windup and the 0-1. Missed with a slider. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. Do it again, I dare you. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two, swinging. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind-up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. The 1-2. Very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball. The one two. Popped him up. Sandoval on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The batter, left fielder, Reed Hoskins. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. First pitch on its way. Hit hard on the ground at first. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too much. So now Carlos Santana, high and deep to left center field. Back goes Pence at the track. The wall, gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. So a two-run shot to left center, number 10 for him on the year. And it's given the Phils a two-to-one lead. You can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game, but up until this pitch, which was a big mistake, he was throwing a gem. Now he looks up at the scoreboard and he's trailing. That's demoralizing, but he's got to forget about it quickly. Lofted in the air out toward right center, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, Patrick Jorge. Digging in to try it again, Jorge Alfaro. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Rounded down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Oh, this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Ugly swing right there. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. But the fight and strike for a pair both coming. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Hunter Pence 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hunter Pence. The 0 1 on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pereira has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. And as you can see by the line score, two very well pitched ball games to this point in the eighth. Two to one our score as both starters have pitched well enough to win this one. Kelby Tomlinson will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 37, Kelby. And that's taken for strike one. Yeah. 
This one's blooped out toward right center field. Altair ranging forward, but he won't get there. It falls in. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. So far, two for three in this one. Behind 0-2 now. 0-2 count. Here's the pitch. Hit out towards second. Kingery loves it. On to first, and Jackson's retired. Two away now. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Here's Joe Panic. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a try. And a base hit, so a very good at bat there as the run is in to make it a 2 2 ball game. You know, Dero, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sinking cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. And he'll just step on second for the force, and that'll do it for this half inning. Two hits for the Giants lead to a run in the inning. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And we are tied 2-2. Will Smith is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Pedro Florimon will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Pedro Florimon. He's set and the pitch line towards center field he dives did he catch that he did what a play there for the first down I know they say sometimes that these things even out but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught he would have represented the go ahead run Cesar Hernandez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here number 16 Cesar Hernandez and no swing, apparently. Ball one. Smith is a guy known for his lights-out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit-miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, He'll also rack up a lot of base on balls, and that could cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. The 1-1. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. Well, he might be feeling a little bit of a sting there, but he can take comfort in knowing that he represents the go-ahead run. That could turn out to be a huge hit by pitch. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Pitch popped up, Longoria is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Aaron Altair. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Aaron Altair, no hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. And this game is still tied at two and two.
back in the city of brotherly love for the ninth inning of this one on MLB Network. Jake Arrieta will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0-1. He doesn't care about... Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And as Giants fans here on television, it is out of here. A solo shot here to left as they've taken the lead. It's now three to two. Stepping in now, Evan Longoria. And he'll get a slider up that time, but he swings through it for the first strike. And he lays off for ball one. Base is empty here with nobody out. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taking all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. And no offer that time from Longoria. It's back to two and two now. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Herrera moving in. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. How about it? What's up? Brandon Crawford. Ready for another shot now. Brandon Crawford. One run in and one gone so far this inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. That pitch just had too much velocity on it for you to catch up to that. Unless you're cheating to a high fastball above the belt and you're all in, I say you got to find a way to lower your sights or it's going to be a tough game. First baseman number 40, Pablo Sandoval. Digging in once again, Pablo Sandoval. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And there goes Crawford. Crawford, base runner at first with one out. Slider, and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. Hunter Pence is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. And here's a swing and a miss that time by Pence as he falls behind here nothing and two. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. And some dramatics here in the top of the ninth as this home run gives them the lead. Last chance coming up for the Fighting Phils. It's now 3-2 San Francisco. And now Boach is going to make his way out toward home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Corey Guerin is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Leading off the inning, Scott Kingery, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First pitch coming, here it is. Swinging on the first pitch, and this is bounced to the shortstop. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. The Giants are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. He was great all night long. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And that will find its way into center field for a one out hit. Well talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game hero. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution.
They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Oh and two the count to Crawford. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Lifted into center field. Jackson is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away. Third baseman number seven. Mike Carroll. Franco. So next to the plate for the Phils, Michael Franco. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. McCutcheon is under it, makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic.